so we're doing this if you're just here the reason we're doing this on a wednesday is um my body is incredibly stupid just just dumb it the nice. is dumb as Ooh, la, la. i have something and i i'm not sure if, if I, i've got the, the name of it right but it's called hashimoto's i think it's either hashimoto syndrome or disease with one of the two yeah. um and it's very stupid it's it's uh my body one day looked over at my thyroid gland and went hey 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 f you fuck f you f you and it started attacking my my immune system started attacking my thyroid gland and my thyroid gland went, oh, really? Well, if I go down, I'm taking all of you mother <laughs> with me. Yeah. And um, yeah, Hashimoto's disease. That's, that's what it is. And uh, the, the side effect, there are two states of it. There's hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism. Hypothyroidism is um, you are tired. Your metabolism slows down. And eventually you fall into a coma and die. Uh, the other side of it is hyperthyroidism, which is uh, you start getting very anxious and uh, your metabolism goes super overdrive and eventually you'll have heart palpitisms and die. So you want to be right in the middle. I was like, they're, they're supposed to be around like a three. Well, which is where I was before. And somehow over, I don't know what these numbers mean. Somehow over the last year, I drifted up to a 14, which is very different Ooh. than three. Yes. Yeah, that's, not three. That is not three. That is, that is not a three. So they said, okay. They had me, and I do not understand these things. Someone could probably in, in the channel on, or in the chat and in the, the YouTube comments will probably go crazy about this. Um. There's this stuff called T4 that your thyroid is supposed to process into T3. I think that's how that works. Someone, I might be like wrong about this. I, 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 I am not an endocrinology person. This is this is why I pay someone else to do that for. Actually, my insurance pays them and they barely pay them. So I have to pay them. Tootsie fruitsie. America sucks. Anyway, um, it has to... Well, apparently they said, okay, just, just to keep you from not dying, we're going to, we're going to goose your, your endocrine system a little bit with some uh, T3 on top of the T4 that we're giving you. But, and this is what the doctor said to me, you may be a little unbalanced for a while. That's, that's the phrasing. You may be a little unbalanced for a while. So I was actually starting to feel pretty good once they had me on the new stuff. I was like, yeah, I'm starting to feel like, you know, person again. I'm up. And, and then Monday I was like, you know what I want to do? Sleep. And then I want to sleep. And I think I will pee and then I will sleep. And then maybe I'll sleep. I, I was maybe some in there in there. I'll suck on a single Cheerio. Yeah. For nourishment. I, I was just ex fucking exhausted all day Monday. Could not. I, I was like, I could not. Uh, I was doing this thing where, have you ever done this? You like stare off at a point and just, you're done. You're just like. Yeah. You're not thinking about anything. You're not actually, you're just sort of like. It's basically like a Windows computer in safe mode. Kind of. Where it's like only running necessary operations. Everything else has shut down. Human bodies are dumb. We're just we're just skeletons covered in meat, run by electricity, and and and, and, then and chemicals and chemicals, electricity yeah. and chemicals. And then there's and then there's feelings. Yeah. And none of those things belong together. Nope. But here we are. And then people do things, and that's where we come in. Yeah, that's where we yes. come in. Oh, let's get the intro going because we have this. Is just I never have a good way to sum up the weeks. You know what the shit is. Every week's terrible. Let's go. Mm -hmm. 
each week. Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call, What the Fuck is Wrong With You? Crazy. Now, this first one, the guy kind of had, <clears throat> for like a minute, kind of had a good idea. Sort of. Kind of. Because it was like, well, who would look for me in there? Except there was the process. I don't want to know where in there is. Oh, you're going to find out. Um, I'm I'm uh, kind of impressed. I, I don't know how you did this, bro, but. um, Pulled from the dryer one limb at a time. Deputies find wanted suspect in tumble ready hideout. Look at this shit. How in One the limit of time. is he is he okay? Did they he's, dismember him? He's okay. That's that one limit of time doesn't sound like he's okay. <laughs> David Jerome Jackson was hiding in a clothes dryer when deputies searched for him. Uh, Escambia County, Florida. Deputies in Florida discovered more than just clothes in a dryer after finding a wanted suspect in the tumble ready hideout, hideout while serving a warrant last week. Um, Jackson was wanted for a March shooting into a home on charges of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, damaged property, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Deputies received a tip that Jackson was in a home in Edgewater Drive, uh, on Edgewater Drive, and began their search after getting a warrant. They made their way to the laundry room after looking extensively. Jackson was discovered in a, quote, remarkably small dryer drum. <sighs> he was pulled from the dryer one limited time as he clung to his tumble ready hide. My God. Outside, Come on, you skipped the best quote. The look on his face, a combination of guilt, embarrassment, and warm hosiery. Outside the dryer, deputies removed three dryer sheets, two mismatched socks, a crumpled up tissue from a surprisingly wrinkled Star Wars shirt. Jackson was taken into custody to face charges. Of all, okay, now I do want to, like, who, is, who would look for you in a dryer? Because who's yeah. going to fit in a dryer? Like, why would you look for someone Not in a dryer? Not chubby ass. Why would you look for a suspect in a dryer? It, it, it initially seems like a good idea but for one it was one of those dryers with the glass door or at least acrylic on the side where you can just look in like i've got a dryer here that's got like there is there's no uh no window into it it's it's just a solid oh mine has the window yeah it's just a solid door you can't see inside so if someone were to hide in there um, they'd probably die because we would push a button and they would. Yeah, because I don't think they open from the inside. No, they don't. Why would they need to? <laughs> well, because kids are dumb and play around in the damn thing. So maybe they need to. You know to. what? That's true. Maybe they do have a safety latch or yeah. they should. But the minute you turn the heat on, even if the thing isn't going to roll, you're going to roast a motherfucker. Yeah. But I would have never known it because there's no, so he would have evaded law enforcement, but, you know, he'd be dead. But this time, you know, if they can. And your house would have a smell. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But if there's a window. Come over and be like, oh, who's making pot roast? <laughs> you don't watch Yellow Jackets, do you? I do not. The girls' soccer team that gets stranded. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a bit, spoiler alert, one of the team dies and they have her laid out and it, it, a, a weird confluence of events causes her body to be wet, moistened, and then catch fire. <laughs> and these girls are starving. <laughs> and the smell wakes them up out of a sound sleep and <clears throat> cannibalism ensues. Spoiler alert. Because the smell of the cooking teammate wakes them. Yeah, 
Okay. That's... You probably have to replace the dryer. <laughs> anyway. If you cooked somebody in it. I mean, this was this is kind of a good idea, but also kind of a dumb idea. So I could see where, you yeah. know, I could see where, who's going to look for me in there. Well, the police. It's not like hide and seek. I'm still confused by why they say one limb at a time, because that sounds like they had to carve them up. Why would you write the headline that way? Because Who I, is this person? I don't know. Ivan Herrera. Ivan Herrera. Actually, he probably, the editors write the headlines. The reporter doesn't write the headlines. Your boss did you wrong, Ivan. All right. How cold is it where you are right now? Is this still kind of chilly? This, this point of the year? Um, At night. Because it's like, like, it's like 70 during the day, but it gets down to like 40 at night. Okay. So I can see people still lighting fires at this point. Because where we are right now, it's like, it's 68 degrees outside right now, Fahrenheit. So, you know, I'm like, why would people still be lighting fires? Well, this is from Jersey. And I mean, because s'mores. <laughs> I don't know how, know how someone can own a fireplace and still do this. Incredibly stupid idea. I, I don't. Mm, pardon me. Um, This is this is so stupid. Uh, officials warn against using <gasps> gasoline to ignite indoor fires. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Croton on Hudson's New York, not New Jersey. Oh, it's, it's New York. Okay. Uh, it's News 12, New Jersey, but Croton on Hudson's in New York. Croton on Hudson Fire Department is reminding residents about the dangers of using gasoline to start indoor fires. After crews responded to an incident at a home on Friday, firefighters traveled to the scene following a report of heavy smoke coming from the chimney. Upon arrival, they discovered a fire in the fireplace with a large amount of smoke in and around the residence. Officials found the homeowner had used gasoline and paper to light the fire. Units Surely the paper would be enough. <laughs> Units operated for over an hour. The flames were extinguished. The department urges residents to never use highly flammable fuel to light indoor fires. Even if you don't burn <laughs> your fucking house down, those fumes <laughs> are really bad for you. Yes, that's how the that's how the fire happens in the first place. It's the fumes. Yeah, it, it, in case you are not familiar with the the process here, it's not the liquid that burns; it's the liquid turning into those fumes that you then. Those are the combustible parts. It's a fuel-air mixture. And uh, also, in case you're not aware, paper is flammable on its own. Yeah. Well, I guess maybe he wasn't feeling very much like a Boy Scout. Didn't want to make, like, the little teepee and, and with the twigs. and the, did... We don't even have to. Like, w one of our places in New Jersey had a fireplace, and Dan would just, you put the logs, and then you, like, roll up a piece of paper, you light that on fire, and you put it on top of the logs. Boom, fire! <laughs> Like, actually, the, fire without boom. Wouldn't a fire starter be cheaper than gasoline at this point? Probably. Like, just get one of those 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 like fire starter logs that that's already treated. You throw that in there, and it. Why did you take gasoline? Again, literally just paper. There is, Just the paper will be sufficient. There is no instance in which gasoline goes indoors. None. We no. don't use gasoline indoors. Gas it's outside food. It's, a <laughs> it's an outside accelerant, not an indoors. That's not how we do it. Because Jesus Christ. Because again, you also don't want those uh, fumes locked up. In your house. No, because that's how you die, too. Yes. Like it, it's a slightly it, less unpleasant death than the burning. The entire... But it is death just the same. The entire... How do you... Oh, like, look at that fucking picture. How far... The entire fireplace is black, and there's, like, a wave of blackness that comes from, like, what was it? Three feet away. 
Did it knock the fuck? Did it? I, I don't think it did, but it looks like it knocked that fucking fire screen back. That came to possibly. I'm seeing bad. a guy years ago, and we went away for a weekend, and the place we were staying, the rooms had a fireplace, and they gave you a fire log, mm -hmm. and you lit a fire, and it was supposed to be very nice. And then we both like passed out and fell asleep. We were going to like go out and do stuff, and we didn't. Okay. Because he didn't open the flute. So really, we almost fucking died. Jesus. Yeah. Well, fuck. Okay, we've got video for this one. Um, and I'm gonna have to, you know, like bring this over here. I gotta get the video here. Uh. You know, yeah, that. It used to be a very popular phrase once once upon a time. Go jump in a lake. That used to be a thing people said. They don't say that anymore. Yeah. This is not why, but it, it's a good, I'd say this contributing factor. This is the um Florida woman Glad flees. You didn't die, Tara. Thank you. Me too. Yes, thank you. Yes. Florida woman flees car dealership during test drive ends reckless chase by jumping into lake and we have it on video here we go let's bring that up here there we go oh she is evil can eviling that shit kids even know who he is anymore anyway uh the florida highway patrol has just released dash camera footage of a high-speed chase in south florida that ended after a woman jumped off a concrete ramp into the water below uh 27 year old year old Molina Logan went to a Honda dealership in South Miami to test drive a vehicle when she refused to stop Miami Dade police and uh, Florida Highway Patrol started their pursuit in dash cam video. Logan is seen driving recklessly, making aggressive lane changes and speeding down the shoulder uh, to pass vehicles nearly nine miles per hour. When Logan approached standstill traffic near Northwest 25, she crashed into several vehicles before becoming disabled and pinned against the concrete ramp. To flee from officers, Logan gets on top of the concrete ledge and jumps into the water below. If you wait for a few seconds, we're going to see her. Hold on. She's 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 getting up there. Uh, one guy just got out of his car and ran the fuck away. He's smart. He didn't want any part of this shit. Um, there she goes. She's up, on, she's up there now. And sploosh. There we go. Uh, according to NBC6, the woman refused to grab an officer's rope to be pulled out of the water, which led to several officers jumping into the lake to forcefully remove her. In the process... I NBC like that the first cop that shows up just keeps pointing a gun at her as she jumps into the lake. <laughs> like, don't do it! Don't do it. Like, what? what's the alternative going to be, bro? Right. Um, in the process, that'd be... Good de-escalation. Yeah. In the process, that'd be six as Logan scratched a Miami-Dade officer and pushed a Doral officer underwater. North Carolina woman was removed from the lake and booked into jail. Faces charges include grand theft of a vehicle, two counts of battery on a police officer, fleeing and eluding police, leaving the scene of crash and resisting an officer. How is this going to work? Like, how is this a, a reasonable option to escape from law enforcement, right? Uh, it's not. It's not. It's not that they're going to be like, oh, well, she's in the water. We can't do that. We're wearing our good clothes. <laughs> little, little known fact, cops are, cops are not allowed in the water. As soon as you're in the water, that's the Coast Guard. <laughs> that's not true. That's not true. The cops are, in yes. fact, allowed to go in the water. They even yes. have boats. Oh, they have several. Yes. And she did all this for a fucking Honda. For a Honda. Not even a Greek. And she met... Listen, I drove a little Honda Fit for 10 years. Yeah. It was a great little car. Honda's a run forever. It's true. I think I would jump in a lake fleeing the police for that Honda. Well, not after you crash the Honda into another fucking car. It ain't going to run for fucking ever. That too. Yeah. 
Like, I don't know if a Honda's worth all that. And you don't, it's quite literally, it's, it's the 21st century. You don't know where that lake's been. In Florida. Yeah. We have. You don't know it's been in that lake. We have like half a century of deregulation. The haunting America. Like if you're lucky, what you'll run into in that lake is a gator. Yeah, if you're lucky. That's your best case scenario. If you're not, have you ever seen RoboCop? And that one scene in RoboCop where the guy, he crashes his car into a toxic, like a toxic waste. And then the back of the, the he's like, you know, it's, it's like, it's like a, a truck with back doors. The back doors open and all the toxic waste pours out. And then he comes out. And he's like, oh, oh, and then another guy splats, hits him and he just sort of splatters everywhere. That's 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 a potential option if you just jump into the water like that. And you don't get superpowers. It's kind of like if the original ending of The Little Mermaid met, met the Toxic Avenger. Kind of. Because in yeah. like the fairy tale version of The Little Mermaid, they do not live happily ever after. No. The prince cheats on her and she throws herself into the ocean and becomes sea mist. But, like, imagine if the water's toxic. Like, you don't melt beautifully and become one with the sea. No. You melt disgustingly yeah. and become toxic sludge. <sighs> well, <laughs> we, this, is, this is definitely... This, one, this is a story that makes sense. Because if you get to the point where you're like, why did he... Yep, that's why. That meant, yep. Yep. <laughs> Uh, troopers arrest man for stealing school bus driving to Miami. Florida Highway Patrol arrested a man in Sarasota after stealing a school bus and driving to Miami. Those are not close together, by the way, if you were not familiar. Um, Florida Highway Patrol arrested a man in Sarasota after stealing a school bus and driving to Miami. The driver, Daniel Sayas, 32, of Land Lakes was arrested and charged with grand theft auto and booked in the county jail. Trooper stopped Sayas early Sunday morning when he was driving the stolen Hillsborough County School District bus. Sayas said, stated he was high and drunk when he initially stole it. He drove it to Miami and was heading back to Tampa to return the bus. Aww. It's like, no, no, officer, you don't understand. I was bringing it back. I was done with it. I was going to give it back. I was going to give it back. No harm, no foul. I I topped yeah. it off. I topped it off. It's got a full tank. I, I only vomited in it the one time. <laughs> I got some paper towels. I wiped it up. Oh. Because drunk is already making bad ideas. Okay. Drunk, you make bad decisions. High and drunk is you are very enthusiastic about your bad decisions. What confuses me most about all the people that steal these things is. How do you know how to drive it? Like. I've had rental cars that I have trouble driving because shit's not where I'm used to it being, let alone a bus that has like the big wheel like this and the everything's in the wrong and it's enormous. Someone like people steal these random ass vehicles, and I'm like, how are you able to operate it? Here's a question: Someone in the channel might know. Are these things automatic now? Because I seem to remember long ago, I'm antique, that the the buses were were manual transmission. Are they automatic now? Because I would be stymied. Oh hell like, yeah, that would be the end of me. Like you put me in a vehicle with, with a manual transmission, I'm like. We are going to say anywhere. nothing of like a fucking forklift or a front loader, like the things we've had people steal. I wouldn't be able to no. get started. Okay, apparently some of them are. Last bus you were in, it was manual. Well, we don't because uh, they've changed the school buses since 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 we were we were we I mean, I hope so. Yeah. It's been a while. But uh, typically, back when I was last on a school bus, like we all, there were holes in the floor, and we all had to run. Typically, (laughs) 
Yeah, you're laughing. The, 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 never, never look under the seats in a school bus, man. Never look under the fuck. It's terrible under. It's like hell under there. Um, apparently There's they've been switching gum to automatic. That has been there since before gum existed. Like, and we just don't ask questions. The reason school buses were manual transmission was not for any s- specific reason other than manual transmission is cheaper and it's easier to fix. Automatic transitions are more expensive, and if, if an automatic transition transmission goes out, that's a lot of mo- that's a lot more money than a manual transmission to fix. So that's the reason why school buses were made because they they needed them to be cheap and easy to fix. So, so uh, kudos. He's drunk and high and able to drive a manual transmission. That is a life skill. Yeah. Like, you know, okay, on the one hand, yes, he did steal a car. But on the other hand, he can drive a manual transition while fucking out of his mind. A manual transmission with like 30 rows of seats. Yep. Maybe not 30. I don't remember how many rows of seats the school bus has, but it's a lot. It's a big fucking vehicle. Oh, yeah. Anyway. It is impressive. It's like, no, officer. In a horrible you, way. You don't understand. I'm bringing it back. It's cool now. Yeah. Fine. Uh, well, we oh, this is a good old fashioned compounding the error story. Jesus. This is not how I would react to this problem. Um. You ever deal with somebody who who they get into a confrontation and they get way more aggressive about it than it needs to be whatsoever in any instance? Just yeah. way too fucking aggressive about it. I have, in fact, met men. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I look forward to your comments. Yes. Ah, oh, that lovely engagement. Thanks, Tara. Um, Anytime. This fucking guy from Goshen, a Middletown man charged with setting fire to home of state troopers. Father, where do you find out why 26 year old Middletown man was arrested and charged with arson for allegedly setting fire to the Warwick home of a state troopers. Father, Orange County District Attorney David Hoovler said Tyler Williams was pulled over and ticketed by the trooper for traffic violations while driving in Middletown in the evening of uh, December 20th, 2023. During the five-month investigation, police used over 20 search warrants, digital forensics, and subpoenas that led to the arrest of Williams. It was alleged that after he was ticketed, he used search websites in order in an effort to learn the address of the trooper. The house was deemed uninhabitable because of the extent of damage. So he got a ticket. Okay? Not even arrested. He got a fucking ticket. And I want to point out, yes, a lot of tickets are bullshit. A lot of a lot of being ticketed is just a way to generate revenue for for a police. Yeah, it's fine. I get that. But here's the trick. If you go to court and contest a ticket, a lot of the time it goes away. Yeah. Because sometimes the cop doesn't even show up to defend it, and you can usually talk your way around half of the shit, unless you're, like, really fucked up. But even still, it's a ticket. It's a fine, maybe a couple points off your license, but it's a ticket. You, like, you set the fucking man's dad's house on fire! Over you didn't a even ticket. get the right house. You didn't get the right house. You got his dad, his father, because you were just like using sit, shitty search. What you were too cheap to find out. Like I don't know his if his dad didn't do anything to you. Have you ever seen the the, the search websites? There are like two versions of them. If you're like searching for somebody, there's like the basic one. They'll be like, here's their name and here's kind of where they live. And then there's like, if you pay us money, we'll tell you more. He didn't pay the money. So he just got the shitty you half-assed one. You didn't have to one. pay the money. All you had to do was, like, sit outside that house and see who comes out of it one oh, day. Oh, that's hard, though. That takes time. And you have to do stuff. That's like... 
It's like I mean, uh, I feel like if you're if you're, if you're willing to put in the effort to start the fire, you should be willing to do like four hours of recon. This does not seem like a due diligence kind of guy to me, Tara. No, this this and that mustache. I just I yeah that mustache. That's that's a and the Coors Light hoodie. <sighs> yeah. A lot of bad choices here. A lot of bad decisions made. But over a fucking ticket. You're going to get more than a ticket now. Seriously, you are not coming out of... You burned down the home of a cop's dad. How... These were incredibly bad decisions, my bro. Like, Jesus. Like, all you had to do was show up in court and say, no, nah, I didn't do it. And if the cop doesn't show up, you get to go. Ticket goes away. It's really neat. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this was because this person had, like, a bunch enough previous tickets that the consequences were going to be more severe or something but like you've not made that go away no you've you've this is this is worse this is i don't if yeah. if you weren't smart enough to go to court to get a ticket dismissed how the fuck do you think you were smart enough to get away with arson see one of those options is free and the other one is arson it's like no way home. Like, you mean I could have just called them? <laughs> I'm sorry, you decided to burn down the house and you didn't call them? You can do that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, finally tonight, this is back to a lot of Florida this week. Jesus Christ. Um, Okay. And we've tried, I, I don't know how often you did this. I trying to run organ, uh, events for the cam and organize shit back in the day, events and conventions and stuff. Sometimes you have to be told no, because the, the yeah. venue cannot accommodate what you want to do. Or there's too many people. There are fire codes. There's other shit. I was hosting an event at the, the con where we were sharing the hotel the LARP con was sharing the hotel with the crown prince of Saudi Arabia. So they corralled us all on one floor because outside his room, there were guys with Uzis yeah, and they didn't really like all the goth kids running around. That was fun. Oh, fuck that guy. But anyway, um, normally if you get told no in this situation, it's like, well, shit. What you don't do is seek vengeance. Astro skate, Brandon fight, video shows violence leading to dozens of arrests. Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office has released social media and body cam videos showing the large gathering in Brandon that erupted into a fight causing damage to multiple businesses on Saturday night. Deputies arrested a total of 23 juveniles and six adults after responding to Astro Skate off West Robinson Street, HCSO says a crowd of 400 to 500 people gathered in the area when the fight began. According, uh, let's see, where, who's this guy? Um, yeah, Chief Deputy Joseph Ma Maurer, according to Maurer, people associated with the party went on social media yeah, uh, Debbie say it all began after a planned after party was canceled by Astroskate because the host group did not hire an off-duty deputy for security, which the business requires. According to Maurer, people associated with the party went on social media and urged people to go to the business anyway, riot, and confront law enforcement. What? That's one way to go. That's that. What did you fucking? 
Listen, if the business says, I'm sorry, we cannot accommodate your party because you are not abiding by our requests, your response is not, let's fuck them up. Yeah. Like you can ask for your money back. Right. You could leave them a bad review. Mm hmm. You can stamp your feet. You don't you organize a, riot. a goddamn riot in Florida, like no less. Want. Like, they're not going to see your 400 friends show up and be like, oh, my bad. What size skates you need? Right? They're not going to be like, okay, well, we've seen the error of our ways. You can party. It's no problem. Now that you have 400 angry people with you. All right. No, see, then then they will get the police out for free at no charge to you. Just not yeah. in the way you want. That's... I mean, I wouldn't say no charge. Yeah, yeah. Just... Who do the... you think you are, Philly sports fans? <laughs> <laughs> I understood that reference. And the fact that you hopped on social media. And said, everybody show up and fuck with the cops. You know what that's called? Evidence. Evidence. I, you this... don't get to plead not guilty. Nope. If you're fucking live streaming. Being like, hey, come fuck up these cops with me. Your Honor, I'd like to plead not guilty. On what grounds? I'm a fucking idiot. You know, if we made that a defense, <laughs> our prison population in this country would plummet. Of course, the country itself would collapse under the weight, but yeah. I mean, we already are. Yeah, we kind of, yeah, we are. No different. Yeah, no but like, if you could just be like, I'm sorry, Your Honor, I'm a fucking moron. Yeah. What jury wouldn't be like, you know, that guy <laughs> is a fucking moron. <laughs> Like, you have taken the wind out of every prosecutor. Every prosecutor is like, look what this fucking guy did. And the jury's like, he's a fucking moron. And and they they didn't just, they, they, uh, they, a teenager getting beaten and kicked through a window at Time Out Barbershop. They, the, the damage, the business, that business loan t totaled twenty twelve hundred dollars $1,200. They went $500 worth of damage reported at nearby 7-Eleven. So they just went up and down the street fucking with everything. People that didn't even mess with them. What did that 7-Eleven do to you? Come on. Nothing. <sighs> like, which, I, in my defense, Your Honor, you no one usually does what I ask, quasi-temporal. You know, that's, that's funny, because all the times I try to get people to do stuff on social media, and they never do, this would just be the one time... Yeah. They actually like, okay, we'll do this. I'm like, I can't get you motherfuckers to retweet a link. Like, I right. cannot for the for, for love nor money. But you'll do this. Please, please retweet the GoFundMe so that this adorable baby mouse can make dresses for Cinderella. Ain't nobody going to retweet nah, that. Nah, fuck that mouse. But no. <laughs> hey, everybody, come on. Pe spread this around so everybody shows up to fuck up an entire street. Yeah, let's go fuck up the street. I mean, I do feel like a lot of people would sign on to beat up a cop. It's true. Yeah. It's, it's, a, yeah. I'm not saying I'm one of them, um, because the cops have guns and I don't. And I, I like not having holes in my person yes. personally. Yes. I'm a coward that way. Yeah. Just mother four, 500 people. Do you think any of them were sitting there like going, um, this got a little out of hand? Really? Yeah. I just I just wanted a roller skate. <laughs> <sighs> what the fuck happened here? Yeah, that's so the first thing we've learned this week is if if you are going to attempt to start a goddamn riot, don't crowdsource that shit. 
or you know if you want a really successful riot do crowdsource that shit but don't say that we told you to yeah um we've learned that the appropriate response to getting a ticket is not trying to burn someone's house down not because so rarely is fire the answer so to your rarely. problems. And it's it's disappointing to me personally that it's not. I would enjoy if th- yeah. more things in life could be solved with fire, but they can't. But I, they are few and specific. I feel that's very unfair to me personally. So we've learned that just because you bring the school bus back does not mean your high ass stealing it is suddenly okay. It's not like when you snatch a candy bar when you're eight. Yeah, they, they're not like and your cool mom makes it, yeah. you give it back and you've learned an important lesson today. It's not like. We've learned that attempting to jump in the lake is not a good way to avoid uh, to avoid the police. They uh, they're, they're they're not they, they, they're allowed to swim. I do think it would be tough for them to swim with all that heavy shit they got to wear. True, now. true. But they are allowed. It's not like. The, but they are allowed. Yeah. It's not like it's not like home base. We have so many people yeah. who work on the premise of home base. I know. We got to stop playing whatever games we are as kids that have home base <laughs> because we have ruined a generation of people. Their We're just teaching are... people that if you can get home, nobody can touch you. <laughs> yeah, we, we have just, just their brains are mush. Um, we've learned that gasoline is not an inside fuel. No, no, we, we, it, gasoline outside, outside and eat, not even then. Why are you fucking with gasoline? It goes in the car and that's it. Yeah. And finally, we've learned that just because you can fit in the dryer doesn't mean it's a very good <laughs> hiding space. It's like ironing your clothes while they're on you. Like you can, but it's a terrible idea. Like I'm, I'm impressed you got in there, yeah. but it's, it's not the solution. It's, it's, you know, it's not like watch me avoid the police using one weird trick. That's just not how that's. I mean, you maybe got a job in Cirque du Soleil. 